Check this out. Today we will be doing some carp and catfishing. And the kind of hooks we'll be using today will be size two plain shank eagle claw hooks. And we are at infamous Bay Shore. I just seen some carp jump out here. What we're gonna do is rig up one of these with uh, night crawlers, another one with the corn. So carp will eat the worms too. So I probably will get uh, fish on both bait. And we're gonna get into this. All right, y'all, so this is my setup. I'm using 25 pound trilene moss color. So what I'm doing is do it using a three-way swivel. Now, what I do with carp fishing, I don't like to use uh, a lot of weight. The highest I will go is an ounce and a half. I will not go no higher than that. Best thing with carp is try to use little to nothing. So I go with this, you know what I'm saying? And then I try to keep a long foot and a half to two feet lead line with the small size two plain shank eagle claw hook and literally have the same setup for the other rod. So that's all you need to see right there. We're gonna get these rigged up and kabank. All right guys, I think the corn, watch, look at that line. Look at that Look at that rod tip, look at that. See, I ain't get it, but I just wanted to show y'all exactly what that rod tip do. All right, I think we got a fish on. I think we got a fish on. And let's see, yeah, if he got off. He got off because my, <laughs> yeah, he got off because my drag. I, I forgot I had my drag so loose. I usually like to keep my drag loose out here, let them run with it, especially like big, big carp. Uh, the biggest carp I caught out here, y'all, was actually 27 pounds. So I, I'm, I'm really out here, when I come out here, I'm really trying to get my personal best. And I just saw a little uh, carp right there just jump surface. All right, I think I got something on this time. Y'all, he got me in a snack. Yep, that's what they do, man. They, oh, I got out of it. Oh, oh, yep. That's a nice fish. Oh, yep. Yeah, but this one, if this a channel cat, this a nice one. I could bet you that on everything. The way he fighting, he feel like a uh, nice channel cat. I got this uh, nice 20 pound uh, line on here. It ain't going nowhere. I can't tell that looked like a nice channel cat. I think I snagged him. That's what happened. No wonder why he was hard to fight. And I'm getting another bite right now. See, y'all see what happened? That's why he was hard to fight. Don't want that. Okay, so I gotta get this off of him. So let's get him out of here. Give him a nice little push. There you go. All right, here we go. I think I'm getting a bite on. Yep, I'm getting some pick. Got him. There we go. He tried to get away from me. Oh, he got off. Yep. He got off the night crawler. Um, I think I got a fish on. He slacked my line up good and all of a sudden he got off. Man, whatever's down there messing with me and I'm not happy about it. None whatsoever. All right, got him. Yeah, see, as soon as I switch up that rig, I switched my rig up and then all of a sudden, kablow. Feel like a channel cat though. It could be a small carp. I, I, I'm gonna show you how I did this rig and I think a very small hook, a, a size eight. Oh, he got off a two. What? He get off too. What in God's name? Okay, so let me show you all the setup. Okay, so with this, I have a size eight. And I mean, this is a very, very, very small hook. But he bit this very small A size hook. And then when I got it to, basically this would be the uh, regular lead line. But what I did was took the main line and turned it into something like a modified three-way rig or Kentucky rig with a size two, which is a bigger hook and that's how i'm gonna determine um you know what kind of fish i'm possibly getting because a lot of times uh you know obviously micro fish bite micro bait so with that being said uh, i'm gonna try to see if that's the case all right here we go got a fish on and he tried to get away from me they've been getting off the hook and i've been trying to see exactly what's been biting because this don't this feel like a little fish right here oh there you go look at him he trying to look dude forget it it's over with ah little carp off the night oh oh yeah there you go that's why little baby carp out here tonight wonder why i've been losing a lot of fish and that's what's been going on it's over with it's over with just relax yep he tried to go for that because it was right at the top of his mouth there you have it nice beautiful carp you know what i'm saying hopefully these holding up good we don't usually get these little guys but hey, I'll be catching them around 17 to 20 pounds. There you go. Yep. It's off. Oh, snap. Got to get this one. There we go. Y'all can obviously see the action. Wow. There we go. Right now, this is what, what's going on. Little carp. Look at this. It's the little carp time now. They, they out here with the vengeance. So I'm actually out here catching a bunch of little carp. And obviously, oh man, look at these carp. Strong man, it's crazy too. Carp can vary in color too, man. Sometimes nice, beautiful fish. There you go. All right, let's get this one out of here. Get a clean release on them. There you go. 
It's gone. All right, we gotta check that one because I was getting a bite on both. All right, y'all, stay tuned. See what else we get. Hey, okay, y'all, so coming to find out, I actually did have something on this rod. I did have something on the other rod, so I got a bite at the same time. I gotta find my blue thing. Where'd it go? Oh, here they go. I was looking for my grippers. Here you go. Oh, another small one. Look at that. It's a bunch of small. Look at that. Get them up. Look at that. Another small carp. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Man, this carp is. <laughs> Let me get him around here. Oh, he. Look, look, look. He went for the top hook, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, snaps. I ain't gonna lie. I was expecting to get giant carp, but hey. <laughs> get that hook up right out of his mouth. There you go. Are right, we gonna let this one go? <sighs> See how smart they is? Look, just look how he find a way around. There we go. That carp was a little bit more difficult. He wasn't trying to work with me. All right, here we go. Got one off the sweet corn. Oh, he got off. He got off the hook. That was actually off the sweet corn. A bit off the corn. I got the, all the corn right here. Usually around the uh, beginning of the season when they start mating, that's when the huge ones come out here. Man, I mean, they be nice size. I know I'm just ready for them big ones to come out. A couple giant ones and big ones can't, did jump out the water. So I'm just hoping that one of them will be willing to connect and get this corn bite that bait all right here we go got one on got one off the corn i got my lip grippers this over here is a little this this spot's a little tighter i'm gonna sit on the oh man he way over here goodness come on come on now oh he way over there come on come on get over here i can't do nothing with you way over there come on work with me here you go now he's getting close to me man that hook connected right the corner of his mouth i gotta get my footing together <clears throat> Here we go, get that hook right out of his mouth. Little size two hook. Got him. Oh, yeah, look at that. Most definitely a beautiful carp. Look at that. Yeah, you could tell he had some old skills that came off, or maybe there was one scar. Let's get this fish back, y'all. There we go. He's out. See? I'm not actually used to catching small carp. This is actually new to me. Believe it or not, I have caught smaller ones, but when I say smaller, I mean seven pounds six pounds some maybe a couple five but they didn't do that they was around them bigger ones so i'm not used to that uh this specific behavior all right here we go off the night crawler instantly this is a real decent one this might be the first decent one today man come on stay away from that line oh man i'm trying to keep this rod tip up and control them yet keep my dr drag loose enough for him to pull oh shoot unless i got another fish on unless he got my line yep he got my line like i knew he would i was trying to avoid that so who got what okay i'm trying to figure this out right now okay i think i got that out whoa no this is a gigantic channel cat holy shoot i didn't know that this is a gigantic channel cat yes i didn't know that this is a huge channel cat i don't know how he got snagged up on this line he free, he free. I got him free. Nope, stay over here, I got him free. Whoa, that's a big old channel cat. I'm glad I freed that, come on. It might actually go down as my biggest. I mean, period, it's, I'm, I might, I think I got my personal best, y'all. Oh, come on, yeah, this is a huge cat. Yo, this is not a joke, this is, this is most likely about, oh my God, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this mechanism that I got so y'all can actually see how, what I did, what I'm about to do. I was hoping to get a 20 pound plus carp and here I go with a, so this thing right here, I'm about to show y'all. This thing is actually something that you put in the back of your trunk and it holds, uh, you know, groceries or your tools or anything like that to uh, create space inside the trunk. But what I did with this thing was decide to use it as a scale. So what I do is I take my fish right right so after i put it in there what i do is see take the bag and i weigh the bag so whatever the bag weighs in a fish pretty much that's the weight and it's accurate let's grab the scale here we go there we go we have a 14 pound channel cat gigantic baby there you go when you catch a 14 pound channel cat at the moment of joy i'm at an all-time high here we go second largest channel cat 14 pounds safe and gentle there we go there you go, baby. Get on out of there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that, that, that channel cat was a pound short. I'm not mad, though. Wow. I thought I was going to get a carp. I knew something. Well, I, I thought it was a big carp due to the fact that when it bit my line, it seemed like it bit and was just going. It didn't stop. This is a carp because when they get to swimming one way only and they've been biting off the night crawlers. Man, this carp. Man, carp are so strong. Man, they'll tire you out so easy. This is why I say carp ain't no joke i've been saying it for 
been saying it for a couple years now. Look at this. Man, this carpet is nice and dark and gorgeous. Like, oh, man, look at him. Whew. Oh, man, it's so hard to get him with the lip grippers. That's why I need a net. That way. There we go. Nice carp. There we go. Look at him. Man, look at that. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm going to weigh this fish up. All right, here we go. 11 pound. There we go. Got 11 pound carp. I put them in the bag. It's just so much easier to deal with them when you put them in the bag. Get a nice, easy, and simple release on them. I don't want to drop them. There we go. Whoa, he was gone. Look at that. Uh, uh, make sure I got. Uh, I got to make sure I ain't got no bite on that one. Now I did have a bite when I was getting that bite, but he wasn't on there. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, yep, yeah, got one on. Oh, you what? He's small as ever. Unless he coming in, man, he must have been swimming right towards me. Nah, I feel him. There he go. Yeah, he not big at all. Man, I was. Is that a carp or a channel? I can go home and have a fresh fish fry anyways. I love that. You know what? I'll take this guy home with me. <clears throat> they mouths are a little bit more tough. I thought I had pliers close to me, but stay tuned. We're going to get this fish off and I'm going to just keep them. But there you go. All right, there I got a fish on. Or unless he decide he's going to get off. All right, here we go. Got something. There we go. It's not big. I think he might be a channel cat though. Oh, man, what? Dude, that little carp ain't no joke. I you know this small, but this thing got to be maybe a pound and a half, too. All right. All right, got something else. Oh, yes, another decent cat. Or maybe a carp, maybe this time. Okay, this is what I got to do. I got to, I got to, this time I really got to work this fish away from, away from that line. Yup, it's over there. It's no point. It's no point. Might as well just go ahead and, yup, here we go. Get him away from that line. Yeah, yeah, this is a decent carp. Man, carp, man, they'll take you on the wildest adventures, man. That a carp or a channel? Oh, yeah, nice carp. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yep, here we go. He can't do too much now. Oh, yes. Oh, beauty. For beauty. Look at that. A beauty. There we go. There we go. Hey, we're gonna lay this beautiful carp inside the back for weight for weigh in it's a 15 pound carp there we go <laughs> oh man let's look at this beauty look at her gorgeous and then i just sit her gentle and there we go hey looking for more content well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.